In 2010, everybody thought that the war had been won and uh, it was over. It was just small pockets of resistance. Yeah, Roger, I just estimated there's about 20 of them. There's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get a six one, or fucking break. But when you looked at the data and it was analyzed and a totally different picture emerged that actually had gone from bad to worse. You must remember that the attack on Iraq, although presented as a war, was not a war. It was so one-sided. Uh, and it became an attack on the civilian population. The most vivid and probably the most educative revelation was collateral murder. Light them all up. Come on, fire! Hey, Roger. The collateral murder has had a wide impact. Uh, it has changed the perspective of the war. It woke people up to the horror of this uh, illegal invasion and the war and the aftermath of it. It was very important to actually go to the scene and actually do investigative work on the scene in this uh, instance because there were l lack of clarity from just observing the video who these individuals were and we wanted to know get to know, to know the names, to understand the circumstances of, of how on earth you had, had wounded children being taken out from underneath basically the dead father who was, well in my terms, assassinated. It was important to go to Baghdad uh, so you can get a, an untainted evidence and, and witness testament. And that's what we did. Uh, we brought their, we got death certificates and, uh, and other evidences pertaining to the incident and of course uh, uh, the compelling uh, testimony from the individuals who uh, all told the same story. It's Bushmaster 7, go ahead. Roger, we have a black SUV, or a bongo truck picking up the bodies. Fuck. Request permission to engage. It's Bushmaster 7, Roger. This is Bushmaster 7, Roger, engage. 1-8, engage. Clear. Come on. In this instant, you are obviously going after unarmed civilians who are actually on a rescue mission to save somebody who is wounded. So it's an obvious war crime and uh, it's uh, shocking to maintain that this is uh, within the frame of rules of engagement uh, of the US military. It's important to understand the, uh, the asymmetry of the situation there, that you have uh, even a silent helicopter so high up in the sky it's not visible. The cannon on the Apache helicopter is, uh, is equipped with uh, large hollow bullets, so the effect when the uh, bullet hits the, uh, its objective is that it explodes like a small hand grenade. It's designed basically to uh, be used against armored vehicles and tanks because it can penetrate steel, and to use that against uh, uh, humans on the ground is just uh, outrageous in itself. Oh yeah, look at that, right through the windshield. <laughs> when I was on the ground there in Baghdad and meeting a group of uh, relatives of those who were killed on that, uh, this, that square that day, among the crowd an old man came forth and said, uh, I mean, they, they bombed my house. Uh, what can be seen in that part of the video is that two men, obviously with uh, AK rifles on the back, go into a house and it's decided to basically or liberate the house with a, a, a Hellfire missile. Roger, have another individual with a weapon. Damn it, it's in the same building. Hey, roger that, just ensure... Before they uh, pull the, the trigger, the, uh, an innocent bystander or a, a man just walking past, there's a market nearby, is seen walking straight into the crosshair and the path of the Hellfire missile. Despite seeing this clearly on the screen, they shoot. This is a residential neighborhood. When you walk through this neighborhood, you can see laundry hang hanging from the 
uh, the lines, uh, people going about their daily lives trying to adapt to a, a very difficult situation in a war zone, but people try to retain a level of normality. And the Jassim Bishak, Ustad, Five families were basically living in this house that he owned. Uh, it's another example how uh, there is no re uh, total disregard for uh, those who are nearby. Uh, just to get these two guys, you have two men. Uh, the, you you are you are you are ready to down and, uh, and kill everybody inside. Oh yeah, look at those dead bastards. Nice. And I remember when I <clears throat> first met Julian, he said that that to him and to others, it was that word "nice" that turned the stomach. Uh, that told you so much. In other words, it was murder. Well, in this incident, the cholera murder incident, that there, there is uh, no mention of any civilians. Uh, everybody is, uh, is categorized as uh, enemy combatant. It is to, uh, uh, to lower the numbers of, of what they call collateral damage, which is a rather a, a, an awkward term for, for killed civilians.